This is an iMac G5 EyeSight model. 1.9 gigahertz clock speed. It has a 256 stick of DDR2 and it's got 512 megabytes on board. So that's 768. Well, I picked this up real cheap on eBay for about $65 plus shipping. Um, these have a typical problem of random shutdown. Sometimes it'll, you could turn it on and it'll bong and no video. Or sometimes you can press the power button and you get fans and nothing. It all depends. This one's got two gremlins. Gremlin number one was that very same thing. Gremlin number two is the LCD screen is known for the buffer chips going bad. Then you'll have lines one by one start filling up the screen. So, anyway, ambient air temperature is approximately 67.6 degrees. Um, that's next to the air conditioner, so that's why. Um, so, this chip right now is 67.8 degrees. What happens to these machines is the South Bridge or North Bridge or the main IBM chipset, whatever you want to call it, they tend to break away from the board, like the Xbox 360 Red Rings. And they cause the described issues with the random shutdowns and all that stuff. So I reflowed the solder on this BGA here. And on the back side of it is the ATI video chip, and I've done the exact same thing there. All those problems went away. No more random shutdowns. It powers up every single time. And another thing that was a giveaway is when I would, when it would start up, I could take this chip and I could push on it, and the thing would shut off. Just bam, no video. So that right there, indicator. But I'm going to go ahead and start it up. The second grim one is, I never did fix the lines in the screen. It needs a new screen and there's nothing I can do about it to fix it. Also, it took forever in order for me to get an operating system loaded because the Tiger CD that I had is 10.4.0 and it would not accept it. Kept giving me waiting for root device error. No idea. Did some research, some more research, and even more research and couldn't find anything on it. Drove me crazy. Then I found out that these machines originally shipped with 10.4.2 and dealing with the old classic 68K machines, it hit me like, wait a minute. 10.4.2, there's the problem. 10.4.0 doesn't have the probably didn't have the driver for the IDE SATA device. So I found Leopard, got a copy of Leopard and installed it. Man, works fine. But as you can see, we have the problem with the lines in the screen. And this little pink line here started coming up the other day. And there's probably another one getting ready to form somewhere. Anyway, I'll worry about the screen later. But what happens is, this chip practically gets no coin. There's a foil that goes over this, and it's closed up. And I guess Apple was thinking that this fan was going to suck the air through this. It's not. It's going to suck it from the bottom through these, through these holes right here. And this bait practically gets no cooling which is where the problem is and you've seen how long this is on this has just been on for maybe a few seconds to maybe a minute so we'll go ahead and show the ambient air temp 68.5 we'll go ahead and stick it on the this this chip and see what see what we're getting I'll go ahead and turn the macro on See? The temperature this chip is climbing at an alarming rate. 
This chip will get so hot you can't touch it. So basically, this right here is, we're almost 90 Fahrenheit, you know. I'll go ahead and do Celsius. 32 degrees Celsius. I'll let it go. Yeah, basically, this this chip here is just getting notoriously hot. So this is probably why the BGA breaks loose from the board and causes problems with these EyeSight machines, aside from the LCD. And the reason why these LCDs go bad is because up here, all this foil, the main CPU heat goes behind the LCD and out through here. Well, the buffers sit here. So this, after running for an hour, this top of the LCD gets extremely hot from all the heat. Well, guess what? Bam! There's your problem. So that was that was issue number two, and that's why it happens. Okay, woo, we're on we're 33. I'll go ahead and leave it on here and let it let it heat up some more. I don't want to run past my nine minute time period. Thirty-five Celsius, thirty-seven Celsius, thirty-eight. It's 102 degrees. 103. In my opinion, that's hot. There's no cooling. This is your main chipset. This handles your SATA, your ATA, your your memory, bus management, the system management unit. Everything goes through this master chip. If this chip fails, the machine does not boot. It's getting hot. Let's see if I can still touch it. Ooh. Almost can't touch it. It's warm, but I can't touch it. We'll let it go for a little while longer, so I don't hit my nine-minute runtime. This is real time. I'm not speeding this up or anything. This is live as you see the, the temperature climbing there's no cooling fan on this chip so I'm thinking about getting maybe there's not enough clearance between the front bezel and this heat sink to get a fan in here like a VGA fan so I'm thinking about getting maybe a, a fan right here like a VGA fan like a, like a blower wheel style fan that you see in laptops like that one there Maybe put it on that side, but your SATA port's right in the way. It's just, it's it's a pain. Well, we're up to 44. I'm in here. Up to 44.3. 112 degrees. There you have it. The iMac G5 iSight, 1.9 GHz, Revision C, the last of the G5s before they switched to Intel.